Hi, this is Christina Brown Morrison coming to you from ICFF 2018 at the Javits Center in New York City. And I am joined with Cheryl Eisen. You may have seen her on Bravo, recently read about her story in Architectural Digest with the design that she did with Bethany Frankel. And she just wrapped up a talk here at ICFF all about how staging makes an impact on the sale of homes and luxury apartments. So Cheryl, thank you so much for being here at ICFF. Tell us a little bit about the panel and how staging makes an impact in, in the sales. Um, thanks for having me. The panel that I brought today was uh, sort of a, a group of uh, top developers in New York, top luxury, uh, luxury uh, developers of buildings, and two really major uh, brokers in the industry for luxury real estate. Um, it was, do you want me to give their names? It was Dan Parker of Stribling, John Gomes of the Eklund Gomes team at Douglas Elliman. He works with Frederick Eklund and David Jurassic, and he does um, buildings like Walker Tower and Stella Tower, very famous buildings in New York City. So you had a lot of really great things to talk about up there, lots of ideas. Um, I know you talked a little bit about the do's and don'ts of staging. So tell us what some of the things were in the talks about do's and don'ts. Sure. I think the relationship between uh, furniture and decor and real estate, I think, is something that I thought was interesting to speak about in the first place. The do's and don'ts of staging is when you're staging an apartment, don't make the furniture the star of the show. This is a mistake a lot of people make. Make the home the star of the show. Have the furniture sort of blend into the background and highlight the things that you want to sell. If it's the view or if it's the height of the ceilings, use low profile furniture so that the ceilings look higher. It's little tricks like this. If it's dark, put mirrors so that it makes it lighter, it reflects windows and space. Um, and so, and don't use all one style of furniture so it doesn't look like a furniture showroom, it looks like a home. And those are sort of the quick do's and don'ts of staging. Well, those are very good. I could tell the audience was very interested in those and taking away those key points. Um, speaking of dues, tell me a little bit about this new project that you're working on, the Woolworth Project. It's so amazing because this was Frank Woolworth's actual office years and years and years ago. And now we've converted it into a full floor apartment, which is gigantic. I think it's 6,500 square feet. Um, and it's just amazing. The ceilings are, I think, uh, 18, 20 feet high. It's so palatial and gorgeous. And it was, it was an interesting design challenge to make something like that feel cozy. Um, there's arched uh, windows. It's just absolutely stunning. And architecturally, it's just amazing and so significant. It's great that you're able to work on all these amazing projects and work with some really great people. I know you love your clients as well. Yes. So in addition to that, who else have you been working with lately? Um, well, people I work with that people know, like Frederick Eklund is one of my oldest clients. Um, the story with the James Bond issue, the, where we staged an apartment with a Bond theme and then James Bond bought the apartment. Ever since then, we've been working nonstop together. Um, and then he's introduced me to Bethany Frankel. Uh, we've also done a whole bunch of celebrities where I, send, I signed NDAs, so I can't even mention them. But we do tons of celebrity work, and it's really, it's really exciting to meet a, a, like a large array of people and people of different tastes, different personalities, and how we uh, sort of put that all into our design. So with, with your group, Interior Marketing Group, you do more than just stage pretty places. Tell us a little bit about your, your firm as a whole. We started out with just staging, so but we've evolved into a full service sort of marketing uh, team where we not only do a gorgeous interior, but then we take photographs of that, like editorial quality photographs. Then we um, do an event, you know, we invent plan and we do like a big broker's launch. Uh, this helps launch the property and then we do a marketing campaign where we'll get placement in top publications or on TV, we'll get the properties on TV and everything. And so we sort of have this tagline, more than just a pretty space, because really it takes a whole bunch of things to sell real estate and sort of a full service marketing theme, and that's what we deliver. Well, speaking of pretty spaces and things, you are at ICFF, and there is lots of it out here. So what do you think of the show so far? It's amazing, and I love this show. Um, I'm so excited to see all the new stuff that's coming out and see some of the people I've worked with, and then work with new vendors who have really cool, exciting, innovative things. I'm really excited to like hit this ground and check it out. Well, we will definitely be letting you go hit the ground soon. Is there any particular uh, new trends or something that you're going to be looking for on the floor today? 
I'm a huge fan of modular pieces because as stagers you can move it from place to place and it can work anywhere. So I'm really excited to see any new modular lines that are coming out. Well, it'll be out there for you. So, well, if anybody is wondering how they can learn more about you and, and see some of your work, where can they find that? Me, they can find at Cheryl Eisen on Instagram. It's, you know, hashtag or whatever it is, Cheryl Eisen tag, E-I-S-E-N. And uh, IMG underscore NYC is the company. And we've got gorgeous interiors that we get to see. We're so privileged to see the most amazing interiors and views in the world. So come check us out. Very lucky. Thank you so much for being here and sharing your design inspiration with the audience here at ICFF. Once again, I'm Christina Brown Morrison, and this has been with Cheryl Eisen at ICFF 2018.